The thing about a lot of our community is that we're lost. We have this weird savior complex, hundreds of years of conditioning, psychological brainwashing and media manipulation. We're led to believe that white women are the epitome of beauty and white men are the prince charmings of society, while black men are aggressive, thugs who hate, abuse, use, and abandon their women and children. We're taught that black women are ugly, hypermasculine, ghetto, rude, and money-grabbing whores. As children, we're taught to hate our features and glorify anything that's near white. This is why we have children who are upset that they have beautiful, thick, coiled, and curly hair and wish it was straight and thin. Around 20 years ago, black women were ashamed of being curvy or thick. Most black women used to wear clothes that would cover their assets. But now, since white media has deemed curves sexy and popular, we're now told that it's okay to embrace our natural physical attributes. But even then, we're told that our features look better on white people. They steal our culture, our features, and then repackage and rebrand them and try to sell it back to us, all while profiting from the very features they taught us to believe are ugly. They steal our art forms and rewrite our history. The system was designed to destroy us from the inside out. Black men think black women are rude and aggressive and would rather a white or Asian woman because they're submissive. But as soon as a black woman is light-skinned and speaks Spanish, she's automatically sexy and fiery. Black women are led to believe that every black man hates them and is good for nothing, while the white man will take care of her and love her better than her own men. All over TV now we see this extreme push on interracial relationships. They praise interracial relationships and condemn black love. Interracial relationships are promoted as equality, as a true definition of anti-racism, while black love is racist. They tell us black love is a myth and it's dead. If we continue to allow them to misinform us, miseducate us, and mold our opinions, thoughts, and perceptions, there will be no us. Sadly, some of our own men and women are so oblivious to what's really going on. Stockholm Syndrome is very real. I have seen black women defend heinous, disgusting acts simply because the man was white. I have witnessed black men attempt to assist white supremacists in destroying the black woman. Little do they know that without the black woman, there is no black man. Without the black man, there is no black woman. Black men allow white women to disrespect black women. Black women allow white men to disrespect black men. Black men and black women both deny the obvious and apparent fetishization from white men and women and think it's completely acceptable as long as they're willing to get married. Marriage based on sexual lust and fetish. Hmm. There's also this huge fetish towards mixed and biracial looking babies. And as a man of African descent who looks biracial, I've experienced this firsthand. Our community suffers from colorism. Colorism. Created by the white man. Pushed by us. We're now becoming just like our historical and in some cases current oppressors. We're shunning lighter skinned and biracial people and casting them out of the black community. The same way white people refuse to accept biracial kids. We in turn mock and bully our dark-skinned brothers and sisters all in the same way racist white people do. We put dark-skinned black women at the bottom of the totem pole. But there are those of us who are aware of what's going on. We're awake, we're conscious, and we see it for what it truly is. Those of us who are not down with the swirl. Those of us who love black women and black men. Those of us who believe in black love. Those of us who know these stereotypes are not true. Those of us who want to see the black community rise and prosper. Those of us who buy black. We also know that not all skin folk are kin folk. Peace, love, and coconut oil. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at angel underscore IKYG. If you like the video, make sure to share and definitely don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so that you always get notifications whenever I post a video and you never miss an update. While you're there, make sure to subscribe to my backup page. Also, check out my website, www.ikyg.com. Check out any projects that I might have going on, coaching sessions, Angel's Thoughts, 
Angel's videos, any events that might be happening, make sure to utilize the black money section of the website. Advertise your business absolutely free to people that look like you, free forever. And also check out the shop part of the site for any IKYG clothing. If you don't see clothing in your size, don't worry. Just contact us via the site and we'll arrange it just for you. And as always, all the links will be in the description. Peace, love, and coconut oil.